Good morning, this is Tuesday, May the 3rd, 2016. Reading from my utmost for his highest. Vital Intercession. Ephesians 6.18 Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. As we go on in intercession, we may find that our obedience to God is going to cost other people more than we thought. The danger, then, is to begin to intercede in sympathy with those whom God was gradually lifting to a totally different sphere in answer to our prayers. Whenever we step back from identification with God's interest in others into sympathy with them, the vital connection with God has gone. We have put our sympathy, our consideration for them, in the way. And this is a deliberate rebuke to God. It is impossible to intercede vitally unless we are perfectly sure of God. And the greatest dissipator of our relationship to God is personal sympathy and personal prejudice. Identification is the key to intercession. And whenever we stop being identified with God, it is by sympathy, not by sin. It is not likely that sin will interfere with our relationship to God, but sympathy will. Sympathy with others or with others which make us say, I will not allow that thing to happen. Instantly, we are out of vital connection with God. Intercession leaves you neither time nor inclination to pray for your own, quote, sad, sweet self, unquote. The thought of yourself is not kept out because it is not there to keep out. You are completely and entirely identified with God's interest in other lives. Discernment is God's call to intercession, never to fault finding. Wisdom from Oswald Chambers, my utmost for his highest, April the 23rd. We have no right to judge where we should be put, or to have preconceived notions as to what God is fitting us for. God engineers everything wherever he puts us. Our one great aim is to pour out a wholehearted devotion to him in that particular work. Ecclesiastes 9.10 Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. The hymn by Lydia Baxter, 1870, Precious Name. Take the name of Jesus with you, child of sorrow and of woe. It will joy and comfort give you, take it then where'er you go. Precious name, oh how sweet, hope of earth and joy of heaven. Precious name, oh how sweet, hope of earth and joy of heaven. Take the name of Jesus ever, as a shield from every snare. If temptations round you gather, breathe that holy name in prayer. Precious name, oh how sweet. Hope of earth and joy of heaven, precious name, oh how sweet. Hope of earth and joy of heaven, oh the precious name of Jesus, how it thrills our souls with joy when his loving arms receive us. And his songs our tongues employ. Precious name, oh how sweet. Hope of earth and joy of heaven. Precious name, oh how sweet. Hope of earth and joy of heaven. At the name of Jesus bowing. Falling prostrate at his feet. King of kings in heaven will crown him when our journey is complete. Precious name, oh how sweet, hope of earth and joy of heaven.
precious name, O oh, how sweet, hope of earth and joy of hell. Father, you have called us to intercede for each other. That's the lifeblood of the church, of the bride of Christ. And Father, we leave the result to you for those brothers and sisters for whom we are praying. Father, lead on, O King Eternal. The battle may be long, but we know that we have the victory even now as we take the next step. In Jesus' name, amen.